ladies and gentlemen i just want you to take time out and listen to this icon listen to the beautiful voice of naris reed performing this beautiful song rise in the strength of jack take a listen <laughs> legendary icon, Mr. Norris Reed. A very pleasant good afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to big stone television as you know the series continues the series of those great musicians singers and players of instruments those who are still here with us today and those who have simply gone too soon after the passing of wesley tingling in 2018 and Neville Ingram in 2019, the third and last member of the 80s lineup of the mighty Viceroy, Norris Reed, passed away on Friday the 28th of February 2020. Now a lot of my fans have been asking me about the legendary, the iconic Viceroy member, Norris Reed, and what happened to him. Well, let's go to the history books. Naris Reed was born in Falmouth, Jamaica. 
He built a stereo case before he started his professional music career in 1975 when he recorded his debut single, I Know, often also credited to a group called The Blenders. It was followed by a next single titled Poverty on Errol Cuff's The Ram label and another single called Got to Return. Besides singing and recording, he also worked as graphic designer, drawing record labels and flyers for sound system. It was Carlton Hines, member of the vocal group T-Track, who introduced him to Augustus Pablo, which then led to recording the Deep Root single Give Ja the Praise, across a remake of the Abyssinian legendary Satamatsagana rhythm. He did some backing vocals for Hugh Mundell's album, Time and Place, set and also worked with Delroy Williams as backing vocals on two tracks of the album, I Stand Black. Norris Reed joined the Viceroy with Neville Ingram and Wesley Tingling in 1980 when Daniel Bernard had left the group. That year they had a big hit in Jamaica with the Sly and Robbie produced Art Made of Stone. With Linville Thompson they work on the album We Must Unite, which was recorded at Channel One with the Roots Radix being the backing band. The combination of their rural roots harmonies with Linville Thompson's heavy duty production attracted a great deal of attention. This successfully formula was repeated for their biggest selling album, the 1983 release Brethren and Sistering. Then Norris Reed left the Viceroy's and moved to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in 1985. Two years later, his Augustus Pablo produced solo LP Roots and Vine was released on the message imprint. This set collected material at Channel One and Tough Gong recorded in 1980 and the following years. In 1996, his LP Give Jack the Praises was released, another superb collection of the underrated Roots singer's work for Augustus Pablo. 2015 saw the release of his album Rockers International Throwback, which was recorded in France in 2014 at Roots Vibe Studio with the French bands The Sons of Africa. I just want to take this time out, ladies and gentlemen, and offer to the families of Norris Reed my sincerest of condolences. I know it's two years ago since he passed away, ladies and gentlemen, but I had to pay my personal respect and tribute to the legend, the icon, Norris Reed. He started out in 1975 and he joined some of the famous groups like the Viceroy's. His name is imprinted on the reggae music halls of fame eternally. And guess what? Reggae music cannot be played or enjoyed without the legendary Norris Reed. I just want to say thank you, Mr. Reed. Thank you so much, sir, for being a part of history. Thank you so much, sir, for doing your part in helping to strengthen the rootsy, roxy music of reggae music and help to carry it to the four corners of the earth. You did your part, sir. You played your part, and what a part you played. Thank you again, Naris Reed, for such a remarkable job. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time to do so. Thank you so much for watching.